gives you a starting point to move forward. All right, next question. Mm -hmm. I believe abortion is wrong, but I find difficulty in believing that it is sinful. In the case of rape, <coughs> incest, the life of the mother is in danger. Am I wrong in viewing that abortion is permissible in these three instances? Abortion is never permissible, but you permitted yourself to make the act. But even if you're raped, I tell people this. When you abort a child, you would abort in that child's mission and assignment. That when that child is now coming in, whether it came through rape or molest, or whatever the other variations of, of when those things happen, find, let me make sure I be sensitive and, and passionate about it because I don't want to be like direct. God is capable of helping you no matter what situation you're in. God still has a purpose for that child, even if that child was brought in through situations you didn't want it to. If you do not feel like you have the capabilities of handling the child from that situation, then there's a lot of agencies, I'm sure, that can take on that child to help that child. But when a person makes that decision immediately, they haven't given God a chance to be able to heal that woman's heart against the man that did that to her and to ensure that no matter what comes through the womb of a woman, it is a gift from God. It, does, it doesn't mean that it came in a loving way, but why, why stop the story of that child when God can utilize your story, the child's story, to reach other people who have similar stories? So when people say, well, I don't think all abortion is wrong, then who gave you the liberty to kill a child. And so that's when, when it comes to abortion, I, that's just my opinion. I know for a fact that God uh, cares about children, that he has a purpose for every child. But for those who may not be living in that situation or that environment, or doesn't have that as part of their life, it is your responsibility to make sure that you understand the benefits of making sure that you're safe from being any, any kind of rape and make sure that you're not living life where you're like, I don't want this child. When people commit abortions, whether it's through rape or whatever, that's very selfish because you was bold enough to do it in certain situations, but that's not being responsible. Oh, my bad, okay, okay, now that part, like, uh, okay, I forgot about that part, my bad. <clears throat> Let's rewind that. <clears throat> I'm not in every situation, so I can't give a direct answer, but I know God's a healer. I know for a fact that not all doctor reports are God's reports. And so just because a doctor says that your life is in danger, if you have this child, go to God first and say, God, look, I am in a situation. What was her name? Uh, uh, Elizabeth, um, John the Baptist's mom? She was barren for a long time. A lot of people, not a lot of people, but a couple people in the Bible went through situations like that and God still allowed it to happen. So if you're a mom and you're like, well, I'm 40, I'm 45, and, and science says that I, it's not safe for me to have, listen, don't put God in a box that says science on the side of it because God doesn't fit in any boxes. So I will tell that woman Always, no matter what situation you're in that's dire, give God an opportunity to be God. The reason why we don't give God the opportunity to be God is because we don't build our faith in good times. That's why when it comes to situations like that, not for me because I, I won't have, you know what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is when I'm in tough situations, I learned in my past to make sure that right now when Josh is doing all right, Josh is okay in life. He's doing good. Life is good. I don't just start go easing up on the brake anymore. I'm, I'm not putting my foot on the brake. I'm not easing up on life. No, I'm still, I'm still building my faith. I'm still building my strength so that if that situation comes, I can now speak faith and not fear. So that's my answer to that situation. That's a very complex situation. I'm not a doctor, <clears throat> but I know for a fact that a lot of people do not give God the opportunity to be God because they don't build their faith in good times to trust God in bad times. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ja, för sure, för sure.